Hello and welcome back to an exciting episode of Pokemon Kaiser Emerald. As this episode, we have ourselves a whole bunch of new Pokemon because I went ahead and decided, hey, I thought we needed Fly, right? And I, I suggested Swallow, the other episode. And I went looking for a Swallow. While I was looking for a Swallow, I also thought, hey, we don't have a lot of money. I still want Ice Beam. And I thought, hey, there's a place I haven't been on the map yet. And that place was way up over here, Route 115 above Rustboro City, which conveniently had a Swallow. It also had a few trainers, which I got some money from. I don't have quite enough for Ice Beam, but I should do by the end of this episode. But it also had a good few Pokemon that I wasn't expecting, which is why I'm a little bit hyper at the start of this episode. So first of all, in front of you, you're gonna see a box filled with some new Pokemon. There's Swallows. Right, mm-hmm. There's also multiple of each, we'll get to why in a second. There's also Beldum. Okay. I'm I'm a little bit excited about that one in particular. There's also Eevee and there's also Bagon, which were all found on the area when you surf up from Rossboro City. Now, I caught a couple. I haven't even looked at what stats they have yet, or anything like that. Abilities, movesets, all of that. Instead, we're just gonna use the best of them. I caught a couple, because at the end of the day they're not all gonna be perfect. So first up, Swallow. Relax nature, not what I want to see to start off with. That that immediately drops my hype level a little bit. But move set, wing attack, facade, endeavor, aerial ace. Facade? That is really, really good, especially when it has guts and we can burn ourselves. That's really, really good, actually. Wing attack, aerial ace, endeavor, yeah, they kind of suck, all right? Let's not beat around the bush there. Those, those moves suck. But... Facade? Facade is pretty nice. Uh, Lonely Nature? That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm not expecting Swallow to particularly take many hits anyway, so that's that's not a bad ability to have. Any extra damage is extra damage. It's an extra 7 damage. It's not, it's not crazy, especially when I'm sacrificing 18 defense, but it's also a bit faster, so that's something to consider. And then we have Quiet, which we don't even need to look at. Quiet is awful. Let me just get rid of the Quiet one. Right now, we're never going to use a Quiet Age of Swallow. But, Lonely? Sure, you win. You go to the left. Alright, all the winners are going to go on the left. Next up, Belva. Clear Body. Naughty Nature. Naughty's not bad. Naughty's not bad. I'll take extra damage wherever possible, to be truly honest. Naughty is not bad. Obviously, this moveset is just takedown. I don't even know why I looked at the moveset. That was pretty stupid of me. The other nature is Quiet. Why uh, Why is this one level 19? I thought everything was under 43, but this one's level 19 apparently. Okay, sure, whatever. Um, Quiet Nature actually, I think, wins. Sure, we're not gonna be fast. Ah, it's a tough one. Quiet Nature is good because it boosts our psychic attacks, which honestly aren't, you know, some that's something we're gonna be using. So we'll 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 keep that in mind. We'll keep that in mind. As for Eevee, I love going through the strong Pokemon that I could potentially have on my team. I get the feeling our team's gonna change a lot in between episodes, but we'll see. Rash Nature, which isn't crazy, quick attack, bite, body slam, double edge, or adamant nature, which we might use, but for the most part I was hoping one of those would be timid and we could use like a Jolteon on Espeon, so that's I'll, I'll ignore that for now. I'll ignore that for now. I might go and get a different EV. We'll see. And then I also got this Bagon, which was a lot rarer. But I found it as like my fourth encounter. And then it used Raw, so I know it has Raw. And then I found another one like a good 40 minutes later, which is how I actually found Belden. So that's nice. That's nice. But it has Takedown, Dragon Breath, Raw, and Crunch. To be honest, Mild Nature isn't amazing. But it's also not bad. It does boost our special attack, which we might be using when it becomes Salamence. We'll have the Intimidate. Not a bad Pokemon. Not a bad Pokemon. These three, definitely all contenders to join the team. 100% they are contenders to join the team, but that will sadly have to be uh, next episode because they are not trained up yet. So for the time being, Alexa is off the team. Our team um, is, as you see on the side, I don't know why I'm even going to talk about going over it, but we have ourselves Moss Deep Gym. I am not expecting to go ahead and fight gym leaders. To be honest, we're probably just going to be fighting trainers this entire episode. And I, I kind of have to accept that. There's nothing we can do about that. That's just going to happen because at the end of the day, um, there's going to be a lot of trainers. So we'll, we'll go ahead. We'll just try and make that our goal for now. And now that I've got all of that little hype out of my system and I'm starting to calm down, we can go ahead and get into some of these battles. I am excited to use a Metagross, for sure. For sure, Metagross is really, really good. 
Metagross and Sizzle on the same team. That's that's a power. That's some power. So we have our guts abuse, right? I'm going straight back to that. Went back to Old Ale Town. Got that flame body proc because I figured we were going to be using X scissors a lot. And to be honest, I already don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to X scissor or if I want to crush claw the table. At the end of the day, flame pro would do a lot to Jinx. Although I don't want to deal with anything like I'm actually going to double into the Jinx. Okay, I'm kind of glad I did, because that Fake Out could have hit Eva. That's fine. We just get rid of the Jinx. All it did was use Fake Out. That is absolutely fine with me. Good. No lovely kiss. No sweet kiss. No kissing. No kissing here. Okay, no kissing. Kissing is not allowed. That is good. Executor. Again. Similar situation where I... Why are you flamethrowing my archive? Ignoring the questionable decisions made by that Fable, I think I'm just gonna exit the Executor and just get it gone, to be honest. And I'm gonna just flamethrow it into Clefable. There shouldn't be any fake outs coming out from an Executor, okay? And that should be absolutely fine. Okay. Okay, this is good. Um, while we are starting to go through these these massive trainers that I'm expecting to fight, though, let's go into question of the day. And I, I thought we'd try and make it a little bit psychic themed, and that's why we're going to talk about dreams. What is the weirdest dream that you've ever had? For me, this is the first time I've had to do this, I completely have to cop out of my own question. I don't dream. Like, not at all. I can daydream, sure. Daydreaming isn't, you know, nighttime dreaming, though. There are people that can go ahead and lucid dream. Those people are, you know, crazy. Just, you know, freaks of nature. Why, what do they do? How do they do it? What kind of black magic voodoo stuff do they have to do to lose a dream? I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely just don't dream. I don't think I've ever dreamed. I swear I clicked wild charge on the Clefable. Did I miss a follow me? I did miss a follow me. Okay. So sadly, I can't answer my own question myself this time. But I am curious as to the weirdest dreams that people have had. And I feel like it kind of fits... I have to say kind of, because obviously it's a little bit different to a psychic type Pokemon, but I feel like dreams and psychic type Pokemon are, are somewhat in the same area. Um, this hit one really scares me. It does. It does scare me. It scares me a lot. Like a lot of lot. I'm gonna... I'm... I'm gonna... I'm... What am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna bring in Patches. Because Patches can hit the slow bro hard. I really hope that for some reason my Zangus outspeeds the Hitmonlee and I crush Claw it. That's ideal. If not, best case scenario after that is Thunderbolt does a ridiculous amount. Yeah, okay, there's a Mark Punch. We're not surviving that, are we? Okay, I really hope that Thunderbolt does a good amount to Slowbro and I can get the Slowbro off the screen, basically. That's the next plan. I bring in Breloom, I guess? I suppose? It's not, not the dream. But hopefully Thunderbolt does a good amount. That's that's respectable. Over half was basically all I was hoping for. That's fine. Psychic onto... Yeah, that's not good. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. that, that did not go well. That, in fact, did not go well. I really want to keep Scizor around till the end. And also, if I bring in Dumbo, that means that the Slowbro should attack Dumbo and not Patches, while Patches can go ahead and take out the Slowbro. And I don't think Hitmonlee should have anything to one-shot Patches. That's that's the theory. That's the theory. I'm going to try and mudshot Hitmonlee, and I'm going to Thunderbolt Slowbro. That is the plan. There's the high jump kick into Dumbo. That's good. That's really good. And we get a mud shot off on Hitmonlee, which is also good. Drop its speed. That's great. For some reason, Dumbo is reasonably fast compared to these other Pokemon, which is great. And we outspeed the Slowbro. It has slow in its name. I don't know why I'm so happy about outspeeding a Slowbro. That's not something to get excited about. But anyway, <laughs> that should mean that no more Pokemon pop, pop out on the right. And it does mean we can just go ahead and I can mud shot the Hitmonlee. And honestly, I'm going to try Thunder Wave. Mm, maybe I... I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. You know, let's just play it a little bit safer. 
I didn't know if we were going to be able to, like, Thunder Wave something that came out after or anything like that. I don't think so, though. Instead, Armando is what comes out. Okay, okay. Maybe I could have Thunder Waved it. My first thought was, hey, if I click Thunder Wave, it's probably going to have a Lumberry and I'm going to waste my turn. But we got decent damage off there. That's fine. I can Rock Slide. I can... I just... Click surf. I don't know why I'm even thinking about that. We click surf. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My brain just stopped working for a good few seconds, but surf should finish it. That's fine. And thankfully, I don't have a long run to get back to a Pokemon Center when half of my team gets bopped. So that's a relief as well. Lots of positives. I can't wait till we have a Metagross on our team, though. That's gonna be it's gonna be real powerful to the point where we might not actually get half our team bopped. We also got some money. Hold on, before we go heal. 9.3. We do not have enough to get the last um, 500 coins of Ice Beam that I still need. So hopefully after the next fight we can go ahead and get Ice Beam as well. So that'll be nice, that'll be nice. I'm not even going to cut this out. This is really not that far to run back to go ahead and heal. It's it's not worth the remembering of trying to, to cut that. I'll just forget, it'll be stupid. We can do this instead. So, okay, so this does still move. I was a little bit confused because the last ones didn't move in the previous room. Now I am stuck with three choices, and I'm gonna go with the one in the middle. I'm having a battle about which one we go into anyways, this is fine. Oof, 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 oof. Watch me levitate a Pokeball telekinetically. Roar. Don't roar. Don't, I don't like that. Sometimes I'm out of sync. Why did he roar? I don't understand. When you lose to me, don't be too hard on yourself. It's not that you're weak, I'm just too strong. Okay, so we've got some people that are reasonably confident. One is confident in their ability to levitate a ball, the other one thinks that they're strong. I don't know. Sure, sure. What do you have? Grub me. I'm afraid. They use the Alexa against me. I don't have my own Alexa to counter. I also didn't burn Zara again. Oh no, <laughs> that's the biggest mistake I could make. Well, um, there's a good chance the Grand Ball clicks Earthquake. A really good chance, to the point where it's basically a 100% chance. I. Excessor and to be honest, Crunch as well. Yeah, because we got the Intimidate on us, so Excessor might not one shot alone. Now, if we were Guts and, and we had the Guts active with a burn, then maybe, but for now, let's just remove the right hand side. I feel like this is going to become a theme. I feel like we're going to see a lot of Psychic types on the right and other types on the left, but we do well against Psychic types, so this is fine. Sloking, scary, sure. Superpower, not Earthquake, maybe was. That might, that might just one-shot. It hopefully won't. Okay, it doesn't one-shot, actually. It doesn't do nearly a one-shot. It is Intimidated. It is Intimidated. I did slightly forget that. But we can exit her again. And honestly, as much as I want a Wild Charge, I'm just going to Crunch again. Because there's a chance that we survive a Hydro Pump. And I don't want to lower my health bar if I don't have to. Plus we have the Black Glasses and all that stuff, so we should be fine. If it survives. Which it doesn't, because we get another crit. Okay, alright. Um, sure. Sure. Sounds good. Sounds good. This, so far, is good. Let's go ahead. Send out Hypno. This is going to one-shot. Yep, that's fine. I already completely accept that. We bring in Scizor, which also has X Scissor. And we basically just do the same thing. We click X Scissor on you, which should one-shot. So I should be able to flamethrower the Grand Bull now and get a little bit of damage off over there. I would be very surprised if this Grand Bull was A, running Fire Fang. Or, or, where's the B? I don't have a B. <laughs> I don't know why I started that with an A and B sort of thing. I'm, I'd just be surprised if it had Fire Fang. I think the excitement from finding a Beldum earlier got to my head a little bit, and now I'm just a little bit loopy. That and the fact that I didn't get much sleep last night, this, for once, isn't just because of my insomnia, it's because uh, my neighbor has decided to go ahead and start renovating his house to be sold, and the people that have been renovating the house have been, have been very, very noisy for a good eight hours now. So that's why this video is probably coming out a little bit late, because I'm recording this at five which is an hour after I normally upload. So this is probably a little bit late. It's probably gonna come out at like, probably eight. All right, once it's taken to, you know, editing time, rendering time, it's probably gonna be a, about eight, which 
throws off my entire schedule for the day, unfortunately. But, oh well. It's fine. It's fine. Intimidate. Don't like that. Do not like that. Plus, we ended up x scissoring a hip on top, which is not the dream. But, we can Steel Wing, which should do a decent amount. We can Flamethrower. Both of those are neutral. Flamethrower is an effect by Intimidate. That's decent. Rock Tomb. Not the move I was expecting. I will admit, it is not what I was expecting to see. But I'm also completely fine with it. This means that we can Steel Wing off, which is enough to take out. Part of me was hoping it wouldn't be enough. And the reason why is because that way I could extreme speed, and then I could have Steel Wing the thing that came out after, which would have actually been great in this situation. So I have Reversal, right? I'm just not missing any health. Also, I got intimidated again. This is just not good. You know? x or Steel Wing, they do the same thing, really. We may as well Steel Wing and try and get defense buff. Um, Arc Knight is going to do a whole whopping nothing right here. So, we'll just Flamethrower and hope that Arc Knight's the one that gets attacked. Or we can hope for a burn. You know, we can, we can, we haven't had a burn in a while. Superpower. Are you attacking Arcanine? It is. That's good. That's good. Because not only does that remove the Pokemon on my side that's really not doing anything, it also takes recoil damage. That's fine. And I can just bring in Bwaba to Sky Uppercut, and that should be the fight. I'm really confident that we win this fight. Yep, okay. Alright. Good, good, good. And this should get me some money to go ahead and get Ice Beam, which we can put onto Patches. All good things happening here. All good things. That does give me enough. I can leave. We can go get Ice Beam. And, yeah, there's basically no downside so far. This is this has just been good. It's just been a good string of events since I've booted up this game this morning, you know? And that, that's a pleasant surprise. Generally so far, it's been like, ah, launching Team Rocket Edition. That's fun. I'm going to have fun with this game. Ah, launching Pokemon Kaiser Emerald. That's not as fun. I'm not going to have fun today. <laughs> it's, it's basically been back and forth, but you know what? You know what? Things are looking up. Things are, in fact, looking up. Let's go ahead and fly on back to Morville so we can grab Ice Beam with our, you know, money in our coin case. And then we can slap Ice Beam onto Patches, which honestly, I don't know how useful that's going to be in a Psychic Gym, but I want it done as quickly as possible because you never know when a Salamence is going to pop out. To be honest, my problem is I kind of do know. So, yep, I need 500 coins. I was just checking so I don't waste any money, because at the end of the day, potions and revives and stuff are kind of useful. But with that, we should have enough for Ice Beam. It's a shame we don't have enough for some of the other TMs, like Flamethrower and whatever, but... Honestly, Ice Beam is the thing I want. Ice Beam is the only thing that I need right now. With that, we get a lot stronger, because Aurora Beam, at the end of the day, is kind of poop. Kind of poop. 65 base power, not the dream. But we can fly on back. I do need to remember to actually heal my team and swap my team over, or else that'd be really, really awkward. So we'll just go ahead and heal up real quick. I don't know why I'm not speaking this up at the end of the day, because everyone's here for battles to see me get bopped by, by you know, big old Tyranitars and stuff. That's that's why you're all here. I understand that. You don't care if I'm putting Ice Beam on my Pokemon. You just want to see me struggle because you're all sadists, and I get that, you know? That's... that's fine. <laughs> but either way, Ice Beam, yes please. With the site base 95, Zangus could learn Ice Beam? And it is base 95, which honestly, yes. Yes. I, I appreciate. I appreciate the extra 5 power. That sounds good. And it is a one-time use TM, which at the end of the day is fine, because I have kind of decided we're going to keep patches with us for quite a while at the very least. And there are always Pokemon now trainers that we can go ahead and refight, but give us like, honestly, around 8k per fight. So they are not bad. They are not bad. Let's go through this one instead. Is there a reason to go this way? Not really. I mean, I'm going to have to fight everyone at the end of the day anyway. Like, there's not going to be a fight that I have that's, you know, going to be skippable. So this is fine. I will speed up through this fight. Though. And I am immediately afraid. Slacking does scare me. It really, really does scare me. I'm 
we've seen this. I crush claw the slacking. I flamethrower the slacking, because that's a skill swap espion, isn't it? Burn, 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 please. That's a shame. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's a scary, scary thing right there. That's a really scary thing. At least both of my Pokemon outspeed the slacking and get good damage off. If I had just gone and slapped my flame body, you know, guts thing onto onto that, I'd have been fine. But I think we're okay. I think we just click flamethrower? Yep, because Arcanine is the fastest thing on the field. I like this level lead we have. It is honestly a real relief. The slacking goes down, and that's a true and espion on the side, which honestly doesn't scare me that much. Hitmonchan comes out. That does scare me a bit more. But we'll go ahead and slap the Espeon as its next turn is the turn that it attacks. We may as well start getting some damage off onto it. This is a situation that I don't love. I wish I had a ghost type I could go into right now, because there's an obvious fighting type move coming straight to Zangoose's face. So, I feel like Crush Claw is going to do the most damage and we can just extreme speed the Espeon and get back on. That's probably best case scenario. That way we don't have anything getting hit by a Psychic or anything like that. We don't have anything weird like a Reflect or a Light Screen going up. I don't know what the Espeon's running. I imagine it is a support. This is fine though. Alakazam. And you fake out the Pokemon that just used extreme speed. You fool. You messed up. It's not very often that that happens. Alright, but now that the scary thing is out of the way, we can go back to X as a U and Extreme Speed U, and we'll see how that plays out. Did... Did Alakazam just Toxic the Swallow? Did I see that right? A little scary. Definitely a little scary. If I want to Extreme Speed the Swallow, is the Swallow going to outspeed me? I'm going to try and watch Archie. Sky attack. I should have extreme speed it. I, I should have. I definitely should have. We can go into Dumbo though, and that should be just fine. We can Shadow Ball Play Doll. We can Rock Slide, I guess. Which should bolt the Swallow. Nice. Nice. That worked out nicely. 12k. Good money. Good money. Alright, so with healing up, we know that we need to hit this button. I don't think we're going to be able to. Is that. That's two sets of back-to-back -back double battles right there, and that looks gross. Absolutely gross, but I guess we're heading somewhere towards that right now, which isn't the dream. It's definitely not the dream, and then I guess we want to go back this way? And come back through here. It has been a while since I have done this puzzle, that's for sure. We want to move that on the right so that that's relocated, and then we can waddle on back through here. Um, like... So, and then rotate that once more, and we should be able to waddle towards that double battle, I guess? Yep, this is... Imagine if all four just, just ganged up on you at once, like, hey, you have to fight all four of these people right now. I would cry. But let's go ahead and start this, I guess. Even at the risk of life, I will win this battle. Not getting through to the end, not if I can help it. Well, that girl is willing to, like, sacrifice her life to stop me. I don't know what I did. Like, what did I do? Lapras and Wobbuffet. Oh my god, I'm saying. I don't, I don't want to see that. I don't, I really don't. Do I just ignore the Wobbuffet? Probably. We just brick break you and wild charge you? Like, what if I just don't attack Wobbuffet? What's it gonna do? I, I genuinely don't know. I'm I'm interested to find out what it's gonna do. Perish Song. Ah, it's there for Shadow Tag, so the Perish Song can KO me. Okay, okay. I see why it's there now. I do see why it's there now. Um Hmm. So I X is a U and I Crunch you so there's no recoil, even though you're gonna go down to Perish Song anyway. 
Hopefully, X is a crits and one shots to Wobbuffet? That's best case scenario. For sure, that's best case scenario. Mischievous comes out. Okay. I did lead with, like, the best possible Pokemon I have for Psychic types, which in a way is great. In a way, it's also scary. It does Miracle, though, so that's somewhere where it messed up. Parish Count falls to two. That's fine. I X as a U again, and I crunch U, and then we swap out next turn, right? That's fine. And that way, two of their Pokemon will be fainted, so even if this messes up somehow, and Mischievous likes... Mischievous rests, it doesn't even, like, mean look. Okay, this should be fine. I should be able to just swap out just fine, unless the next Pokemon that comes... Is there going to be three Wobbuffets on the left? Wait. Wait. No, don't do that. Wait, I've had an idea. Don't do that. Dug Trio, Arena Trap. Okay, so same thing, same thing, all right? You know, that that's basically what I was thinking, right? With, you know, continuation of it. But let's Shadow Ball Mischievous and Crunch Mischievous and try and get back on them. It tries to protect. That's fine. We made the right decision in that case completely. That's absolutely fine. Both my Pokemon are going to faint. There's nothing I can do about that. I can just bring in, honestly, Guava and... Dumbo. And I will mud shot the Doug Trio and try and one shot the Wigglytuff. Doug Trio protects and we one shot the Wigglytuff. That's good. That's really good. I mud shot and honestly, Sky Uppercut probably does more damage than Giga Drain, but we'll Giga Drain in case it attacks us. Which it didn't. That's fine. This is fine. And a level 100 wild. For good measure? I, why level 100? Like, dumb. That's <laughs> all I can say to that. Just, have you, have you tried not doing that? But between Sludge Bomb and Earthquake, we should be able to take out the opponents. That is fine. Now, sadly, I did kind of get bopped, and I don't feel confident going into this next fight with the current, you know, health that I have. Which moves that out of the way, and with that puzzle completed, once again, we have ourselves what I am expecting to be our final fight, but it might not be. We'll see. I do want to get all of these trainer battles over and done with in this episode, though, so the next episode we can focus on, like, having a good few attempts against the gym leader, because we already know that I'm going to lose to the gym leader. All right, let's, let's not beat around the bush. She has seven Mega Mewtwo's. All right, I understand that. I accept that. We're going to get bopped, right? But... We'll give it a good few attempts at least, and I want to train up Metagross for it, probably. Maybe I'll train up Swellow as well. I probably won't train up Bagon, it'll probably just be the other two, as I don't have infinite time. Instead, um, we'll focus on those two and we'll try and decide like what the best team is for Psychic types, and we'll we'll go from there after we get popped. But for now, we can go ahead. I'm expecting that Electrode to explode. So I'm going to double into Gengar. Protect. While it explodes. Oh, I should have expected protect. Yeah. Wow, that's still one shots after the intimidate. Jeez. Oh yeah, that sucks. Oh yeah, that just straight up sucks. We just lost our best Pokemon. Uh-huh. Okay, alright. Mm-hmm. Um So, this isn't great, I'd say. I would say that this isn't great. I'm gonna bring in Dumbo. I don't know why in particular, but that's just what I'm feeling. Snorlax. Okay, well, that, you know, wish I'd brought in Breloom. Also, this is fine, I guess, maybe. Not confident. I will admit, I am not confident. Um, I'm gonna try and rock slide, and I'm gonna try and crunch. This Gengar might outspeed me. It does outspeed me. This is not the dream. This is really, really not the dream. I am gonna bring in Scizor. Because I want to bring in Breloom, to be honest, on like a full health sort of situation, to be honest. Where there isn't a risk of it getting body slammed by Snorlax. Snorlax self-destructs. This is really bad. Like, really bad. Those are my two tankiest Pokemon, so Sizzle will hopefully survive. This is really bad. I think I'm I'm done. 
I think that's it. Am I screwed? I might be screwed. I don't think either of my remaining Pokémon can deal with three Pokémon on the left. Like, I don't think between them... And Macros. Is that a Macros explosion? Is it? Is it really? Please don't. Please don't. I don't need that in my life. I'm gonna Sky Uppercut it, and I am going to Thunderbolt it, as that's the most damage that I can put onto that Metagross as much as possible, so that it hopefully doesn't explode. However, at the end of the day, it is a Metagross. I don't even know if this is gonna be enough to take it out. It agility. That might be good for us, actually, funnily enough. How much is this Thunderbolt gonna do? It's on the special side. It KOs it because of a crit. Okay, I was also gonna say it could put it into Mark Punch range, but a crit is even more appreciated, to be honest. I can't touch Gengar with Breloom. I just can't. So I'm gonna click Giga Drain, and I'm gonna accept that that is not gonna go well. And I am also going to Thunderbolt and hope that we paralyze. Imprison. Why are you spamming Imprison and not just clicking Shadow Ball? I mean, I'm okay with it. Please keep clicking Imprison. It's... I appreciate it. So appreciated. I honestly can't tell you enough how appreciated it is. Keep going for Imprison, please. Because at the end of the day, I have two Pokemon on my screen. He has one. That, in theory, does give me a solid advantage. Imprison again. Please. Please let this Giga Drain KO. And then I get a Thunderbolt off on whatever comes in. That's great if that happens. It isn't. That's such a shame. That's such a shame. And I'm pretty sure that Giga Drain would do more than Sludge Bomb, because Sludge Bomb's also, you know, Sludge Bomb's four times resisted, because it goes poison, so... I'm pretty sure that was the best case scenario, I guess. Dust Clops. Okay, again, I can't really damage it, but I can hit it with Giga Drain, I guess. And I guess we Thunderbolt again? Protect. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't change anything. I mean, I'm just gonna keep spamming these moves. Dust Clops is such a stall Pokémon. Like it's probably relying on pressure or something. And Mischievous is the last Pokemon. Level 69 Mischievous. Nice. Um, we might be okay here. Protect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna put the same moves. Imprison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imprison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We made it. I can't believe we made it. I don't understand how we made it. Honestly, if that Metagross had just clicked Self Destruct or Explosion, we would not have won. I don't know if I even had it, but it was scary. It was really scary. So, with that, I am really hoping that we have gone ahead and fought all of the trainers. I will go back and heal before I jump onto this pad, just in case there's more trainers to pop out, but I, I hope that that's that. It is. Okay, so next episode, we will go ahead and have ourselves our fight against Tate and Liza and their seven Mega Mewtwo's. Uh, in between episodes, I will go ahead and I will train up Swallow, I will train up Metagross, hopefully to around level 70, maybe like level 72 or something, because that's where the rest of my team kind of is. So hopefully that will be level 72, and we will see what hell awaits us in the next episode. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above everybody, bye!